back to the Mad Spidey Wars. I'm Mad Spidey and this is my channel. Once again, thank you for tuning in to my videos. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please, please do so. Also hit that thumbs up button. Uh, everything helps, especially with a, such a new channel and try and grow it as much as I can. Um, today I thought I would actually do a pop vinyl haul. I have uh, one shop that I mainly go to uh, here in Melbourne on the outer, in the outer suburbs called Pop Toys. Uh, he's in a suburb called Marabin. Um, I generally deal with Andrew. He's the guy that owns the store. He pretty much gets me anything that's Spidey related uh, in the pop vinyls. I did decide a long time ago to get when I went down the pop vinyl road to basically just collect Spider-Man based pops. Uh, I was going to go for all the Marvel, but it's just such a big range. Spider-Man's obviously just as big a range, but uh, not as big as collecting all the Marvel. Uh, same with anime, I do like anime as well, but I thought it's just too much. Uh, I will stick with my main like, which is Obviously Spider-Man, so anything that's Spider-Man based, he basically orders in for me. Obviously I have been working a lot lately, so I haven't been down to see him for a while, but um, we went down on the weekend and I basically picked up just a few pops. Now, the majority of these are the Miles Morales pops that have just come out. I don't know as much about Miles as I do normal Spider-Man, Peter Parker, but seeing it's still Spider-Man orientated, I still add them to my collection. Now, because of the PS5 game, Miles Morales game, they have released quite a lot, uh, but I will go through them with you today anyway. So, here is my haul. So, first box is basically all Miles. What have we got? So, Miles Morales in winter suit. Yeah, try and show you without letting too much glare happen. Yeah, that is a pretty cool one. Most of them have the uh, special edition sticker, which I'm not really fussed on. When it comes to a lot of guys who collect pops, like it has to have the sticker, whether it's a con exclusive or special edition from somewhere. I have to have the sticker on it. I'm just like, as long as I've got one of that pop, regardless of the sticker, I'm happy with that. So these are all from, as I said, it's the Game of Earth series, which is all done because of the PlayStation 5 Miles Morales game which I have not played because I'm not a big gamer anymore. I used to be when I was younger, but not so much anymore. Uh, so that is the first one. Second one we have, uh, Crimson Cowl Suit Miles Morales. As you can see, there's no sticker on that one. But as I said, I'm not gonna keep going on about the stickers because I'm just gonna show the pops themselves. Still very nice looking Pops. Obviously Pops have come a long way. Pops are not everybody's thing, but they have come a long way since the early days where they all looked exactly identical except for different colour. They all have the same eyes, same head shape, same body, everything like that. They just painted them differently to make them look like the different characters. They have elaborated a lot on them. So what have we got next? 2020 suit. Now actually, I, I really like this one. Very futuristic looking pop. Almost looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. But still very cool. Uh, what do we have next? Yeah, so they've done two of the winter suit. Hang on, I'll pop this on the ground. The other one was upside down, whereas this one is standing upright. So if I grab, yeah, it's 
suit. Yeah, so they're basically same thing, just one's up, one's down. we have next is just the classic suit Miles so obviously they've released Miles Pops in the past but this is obviously for the game so they release a classic suit in a new form or so they say in a new pose so very nice looking as well I'm more into the classic sort of stuff anyway I know Miles is not a very old character, but you still like your classics as well as your variations. This is Classic Suit Unmasked, which is actually the limited edition chase, which the chases can be quite often harder to get, especially if they do mystery boxes. I'm trying to show without the, without the glare. So yeah, still very cool. So that is box number one done. Let's put those back in the box. On to box number two. Which, as I said, there are a lot of miles in this series. This whole box is more miles. So what do we got here? Programmable matter suit. That almost looks like uh, the Miles Morales take off of Spider-Man 2099 with the colouring, the blue and the, the red, more the predominantly of the blue, but still very cool looking pop. That one. What else have we got? Strike suit. That looks very funky looking. As I said, when I when my pop guy rang me and said there's a whole pile of Miles Morales coming out, I'm thinking oh there might be three or four, maybe five, and when I get like two full boxes full, I'm like, okay, they've gone a little bit nuts, but that's how they make their money. So this is the track suit, which I'm assuming stands for something. I don't know what it is. I haven't played the game, as I said. But, um, a lot of the Miles stuff seems to be just a variation of some of the suits that the original Spider-Man has worn, but as I said, I haven't played the game, so I'm not 100% sure. But still, if it's Spider-Man, I'll pretty much collect it. Uh, what else have we got? So this is the advanced tech suit. It pretty much looks like his normal sort of suit, but a bit more on the sort of, I'd say like more of a gray sort of color, but that might be just the pop itself. Still very cool looking. So it's that one. Uh, next we have Bodega Cat Suit. Now obviously we don't talk about bodegas in Australia, but obviously they do in America. Obviously something once again, something to do with the game. Still very cool looking. Very nice. Last one for the second box is Purple Rain Miles Morales. Now I'm assuming this has got something to do with Prowler. I think Prowler is uh, tied into the Ultimate Spider-Verse a bit more than it was in the normal. Peter Parker 616 sort of universe and they obviously are the Prowler colours the purple and the green which 
I actually think it's a nice take on the suit. But yes, very nice. So obviously these must be all variations, like the Spider-Man game for the PS4. You do get a multitude of suits, so I do know that much. As I said, I haven't played the game, but I do know that you do get a lot of different suits. And I do like a lot of the variations of the Spider-Man suit, thus I'm liking the variations for the Miles suits. <coughs> so that is box two. Box three has only got a few in it because it actually had some Pokemon Pops that were for my better half. So I've already taken those out. We have a half and half Carnage, which actually I like. it's more one of my more favorite ones of the new one. I'm more of a Venom man, but I still like Carnage. And I'd say they'll be releasing a lot more once the second Venom movie comes out, seeing that Carnage is supposed to be in it. Played by Woody Harrelson, apparently, as you saw in the, sorry, spoilers if you haven't seen the uh, first movie, but they do do a, you know, the usual Marvel after credits sort of scene with Woody Harrelson playing Cletus Cassidy. And one of my, besides the original, you know, classic Peter Parker Spider-Man suit that's been around since the early 60s, one of my second, probably what my second favourite suit, even though it's not as, I'd say, outlandish as some of the Spider-Man suits, is actually the 2099 suit, especially the original one, not the reinterpretation one that was done a little bit later. But this was a... 2021 Spring Convention exclusive, even though obviously there wasn't any conventions really over here or in the States especially. They did still release a lot of pops for when the conventions were supposed to be on. So this is new of the uh, Spider-Man 2099, good old Miguel O'Hara. Which, as I said, it's not as, there's not as much design to that suit is what some of the Spider-Man ones are, but I still really like the uh, the design. Sometimes simple is just as good. But yes, one of a uh, very nice looking pop. And the lucky last, which I almost missed because there was apparently a very short run of these. Uh, once again, it's a fall exclusive. Oh, sorry, spring convention exclusive, uh, was the zombie Morbius. Now you would think Morbius is already basically a vampire. He would look white and pale and look like a zombie anyway, but it's still a very cool looking pop from the Marvel Zombies line. Zombie Morbius. Yeah, he looks like he was a little bit hungry and had a snack on somebody. Yes. Very, very cool. So there we are. That's my pop haul. It's probably over a few weeks or a few months because as I said I hadn't been to pop toys for a while but uh, I will put his link in the description. Mainly obviously for the guys in Australia because he doesn't really deal with internationals but you never know, you might have something that you like. Please check him out. But uh, once again, if you're not subscribed to me, please do so. Please hit that thumbs up button. Be very much appreciated, especially for a new channel, as I've mentioned before. And um, I'll just let my channel grow organically and hope for the best. But thank you very much again for watching and um, have a good one.